Hey everyone, this is The Rich Life. I am your host, Michaela, and today we are talking about Sebastian Stan. He attended the Stage Door Manor summer camp where he was cast in many camp productions. It was then that he decided to take acting seriously and began to apply for acting programs at several universities. He attended Rutgers University Mason Gross School of the Arts, which gave him the opportunity to spend a year abroad studying acting at Shakespeare's Globe Theatre in London, England. He then graduated in 2005. He had several film appearances, including Tony and Tina's Wedding, The Architect, and The Covenant. Before he earned a reoccurring role on Gossip Girl as Carter, beginning in 2007. Stan performed a lead role in the 2009 series King as Jack Benjamin. In 2010, he appeared in the ballet thriller Black Swan, and in the comedy Hot Tub Time Machine as Blaine. In 2011, he portrayed Bucky Barnes in the film Captain America The First Avenger, based on the Marvel Comics character. Although it was his first film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it was not part of the nine-picture contract he has with Marvel Studios. In 2012, he starred in the thriller Gone, the supernatural horror film The Apparition, and began began a reoccurring role in Once Upon a Time as the Mad Hatter. It was initially reported that the role would be recast for the spin-off series Once Upon a Time in Wonderland due to Stan's commitment to the MCU. But Edward Kitsis revealed that due to the fan backlash and respect for Stan's performance, the character would not be recast and the series would proceed without the character. The same year, he also appeared in the USA Network miniseries Political Animals as the troubled gay son of the former First Lady, for which he was nominated for the Critics' Choice Television Award for Best Supporting Actor in a Movie or Miniseries. In 2014, Stan reprised his role as Bucky Barnes, now called Winter Soldier, in the first film of his nine movie contract, Captain America the Winter Soldier. In 2015, he played Joshua in Ricky and the Flash, and co starred in The Martian as NASA scientist Dr. Chris Beck, and The Bronze as Lance Tucker. Stan reprised his role as the Winter Soldier in 2015's Ant Man, making a cameo appearance, and Captain America Civil War in 2016. In 2018, Stan again portrayed Winter Soldier in both Black Panther as an uncredited cameo and in Avengers Infinity War. He then appeared opposite Nicole. Kidman in the thriller film Destroyer. Stan portrayed Charles Blackwood in We Have Always Lived in the Castle, an adaptation of Shirley Jackson's film of the same name. Stan's first film of 2019 was Avengers Endgame, for which he reprised his role as Winter Soldier. His second film of the year, Endings Beginnings, premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in September. Stan is a supporter of many charitable organizations, including Our Big Day Out, a nonprofit based in Romania that helps provide children with a higher quality of life. In February 2018, he thanked fans on behalf of the organization for participating in fundraising and awareness on Instagram. Stan starred as a protagonist, Scott Huffman, in the Vietnam War drama film, The Last Full Measure, which was released in January 2020. In addition, Stan appeared in Monday and The Chain. In February 2019, he replaced his Marvel co-star Chris Evans in the drama film, The Devil All the Time, which premiered on Netflix in 2020. In April 2019, Disney confirmed a Marvel television series starring Stan and Anthony Mackie called The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which began airing on Disney Plus on March 19, 2021, and ran through April 23, 2021. In May 2019, Stan joined the cast of the spy thriller The 355, which was released in 2022. Stan starred next as Tommy Lee in Hulu's biographical miniseries Pam and Tommy, for which he received a nomination for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited or Anthology Series or Movie. He's also associated with the Ronald McDonald House. In 2020, he attended the charity's first virtual gala with his Marvel co-star Anthony Mackie. Other charities supported by Stan include A Dramatic Need and Save the Children. He also appeared in the movie Fresh, which came out this year on Disney+. Plus. At first, people were a little weirded out by the movie, but people then realized it's quite a good thriller movie. It was one of few movies where the title card to the movie happens about 30 minutes into the actual movie. People then went to TikTok to make edits, and some people even bought similar outfits to what he and his co-star wore in the film to recreate a famous scene. Now onto the dating, and this is a lot, so get ready. He first started dating Leighton Meester from 2008 to 2010. Stan reportedly met Leighton on the set of Gossip Girl back in 2007. By the following year, rumors started swirling that they were together when a source reportedly told Page Six that the two actors couldn't keep their hands off each other. Then in 2009, Stan told people that the best part about working with her is that he gets to go home with her, after the director yells cut, making their relationship status clear. For a while, everything seemed to be going well for the two, especially after Stan bought her a custom made painting for Valentine's Day in 2009. But in April 2010, the couple ended up calling it quits. A source reportedly told OK Magazine that Layton broke up with the star because she didn't know how to be in a relationship and doesn't really like them. In fact, she later told Seventeen that being in a relationship wasn't really her style. I've never really liked anybody before, she explained in January 2011. When asked about her breakup with Stan, she said, I've only had one experience where it was really hard and I was really sad when it ended. But that's what taught me a lot about myself and love and life and that's good. Then from 2011 to 2012, 
You dated Diana Agron. In 2011, Stan and the Glee star were rumored to be dating. Reportedly, a couple of onlookers saw Stan spend some quality time with the actor after her Glee performance in June 2011 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. He waited for her backstage, a fan told Us Weekly at the time. Once the cast finished the show, Diana ran backstage to Sebastian, and they were all over each other. However, the duo reportedly separated in December 2011 as the distance became too hard. She was always worried that he was cheating on her while he was away filming, but he never would. An Us Weekly star reportedly claimed at the time. The exes briefly sparked reconciliation rumors in February 2012, after they reportedly spent Valentine's Day together. But very little information was heard about the two after that. He also dated Jennifer Morrison from 2012 to 2013. Stan and Jennifer reportedly started dating in the summer of 2012. During that year, they both starred in a hit ABC series, Once Upon a Time, where Stan played the Mad Hatter and Morrison portrayed Emma Swan. But after just about a year of dating, the pair reportedly went their separate ways in the summer of 2013. They just grew apart, a source reportedly claimed to Us Weekly in November 2013, noting that the two reportedly split four months earlier. Then in 2014, he reportedly dated Margarita La Viva till 2016. It's unclear when Stan and Margarita first met each other, but in 2009, they did share the big screen and Ashton Kutcher's rom-com spread. However, rumors of them being a couple didn't start swirling until July 2014 when Us Weekly reported that they were together. They've been friends for a while, a source reportedly claimed to the magazine. They've been having fun together and seeing where it goes. The two reportedly dated about two years before she was reportedly spotted looking cozy with Joshua Jackson in September 2016, leading fans to believe she and Stan had gone their separate ways. He then dated Alejandra Onieva in 2020. Nearly four years after Stan's reported split with Margarita, Stan was briefly linked to Spanish actor Alejandra after they were reportedly spotting holding hands in Ibiza in July 2020. The Daily Mail published photos in which the two lovebirds appeared to be kissing before they took a romantic boat ride on a yacht. The rumor couple also reportedly vacationed in Mexico back in November 2020, and one month later, the paparazzi caught the two seemingly grabbing lunch together at the Grove in Los Angeles. However, their fling appeared to be short-lived because in March 2021, Stan was reportedly seeing someone new. Although Fresh co-stars Stan and Edgar Jones have yet to confirm whether they're dating, The Sun reported that the rumored couple had been getting very close on set. Sebastian has told friends that he thinks Daisy's a bright spark and set for a massive career in Hollywood, a source reportedly claimed to the publication. He can't believe she's so young and she's so talented and mature. They get on really well. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see where their relationship takes them. Now on to the riches. Sebastian has a net worth of $8 million and he owns a Jaguar F-Type SVR for $100,000, an Austin Healey 300 BG8 for $62,000, a Porsche Cayenne S for $86,000, and a Cadillac Escalade for $88,000. And that is everything on Sebastian Sand. Thank you so much for watching and comment down below what you want us to talk about in future videos and we will see you next time.